Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on the RBFM that is design review based on failure modes and this is chapter 1 introduction. The DRBFM contents can be divided into three main categories. The first is introduction and background. The second is 3GD approach which is used to execute DRBFM and final content is the DRBFM worksheet. So let us start with the section 1 introduction. In this section, we will answer the three WH questions regarding DRBFM. That is, what, why, and how. So, so let us answer the first question: What is DRBFM? DRBFM is a tool that is used to make design changes in any existing product or system. What do we mean with existing product? It means that the product which has been used for years, that was functioning well without any defect. But now, due to some technical advancement or some new requirements, we need to improve this design. So, in such scenario, we use DRBFM to modify existing design to a new design. For example, if we have an automatic door system which opens and closes automatically when it detects person coming in and out, and then because of more crowd, people started complaining that the door is very slow. So now we need to increase the speed of the motor that rotates and opens the door. So in this case, we will use DRBFM to increase the speed of the automatic door and the door, which existing design, which was slow in speed, in, will convert to a high speed door in the new design. So in such scenarios, DRBFM is used wherever a good design has to be modified. To meet the present requirement, DRBFM is the tool to be used. Now, let us go to the second question: that why do we use DRBFM while implementing or modifying any design changes? So the answer is for quality retention. Basically, the design which was being used for years had no defect in it, and it was working properly. But now, if we make any changes, there are possibilities that a defect may occur because of those changes. So, in this DRBFM, the activities involved make sure that no technical miss or any defect is introduced into the system. The quality of the system remains same as before, and the specification is upgraded so that it meets the new requirements as well. So, keeping in mind the quality and the new requirements, the new system will be made, and this will be done through DRBFM process. Why? Because DRBFM process helps us in reducing the risk of any failure, or technical miss, or design-related bugs. That is why DRBFM is used. We will discuss in detail the activities that helps us in preventing this. and these activities which help us in preventing the defects are the answer to our third question that is how how does the drbfm ensures quality drbfm can ensure quality because of the activities which are involved during this drbfm implementation now let us first understand the activities in drbfm the first step is to identify the change points that is what are exactly the change points that has to be implemented in the system the second step is to study these change points and find out where the impact can occur because of these change points in the overall system and for every effect there has to be one countermeasure that can absorb all the defects or all the change related um, implications that can occur in the system and finally these countermeasures are implemented as a logic in the system so in these four steps what is basically done that in we in advance identify the failure modes that can occur in the system because of the design changes and then before the implementation of these design changes the countermeasure is decided and the countermeasure itself is implemented into the system 
so basically we are implementing the design change and the countermeasure at the same time so what will happen the countermeasure will take care of all the possible defects that will occur into in the future so in this way the quality of the product is retained that no new defect will be introduced the only thing that we need to take care is that the steps are followed properly there should not be any design change or the change point that is left out there should not be any failure or the impact of change point that should be neglected and there should be no bug or no loophole in the countermeasures being implemented basically the countermeasure should be a full proof one if there is a bug in countermeasure then of course the design change will lead to some failure but if the countermeasure is full proof the failure modes have been properly identified and the change point have been studied and identified properly then drbfm will ensure quality there is no way that the drbfm will fail if it is implemented properly the only thing we need to take care is to follow these four steps with full dedication and accuracy now let us look at our example again the example of the automatic door in which the slow speed has to be modified to a relatively high speed now if we consider this as a system and a design change then what is the change point the change point is the motor speed which moves the door or slides the door this is the change point for making it from a slow speed door to a high speed door now what are the this was the first step to identify the change point. the second step is to identify the failure modes now for example if the continuous operation of motor at high speed is done for a long time it may result in heating up of the motor coils also the second failure mode that is possible that seems to be possible is the failure of rotating components that we use because there would be increase in the initial torque needed to ramp up the speed from below to the final faster speed till now this torque would have been less but now the torque would increase so we will have to check that whether the rotating components are able to tolerate this increased torque so we can see that even a small design change can lead to a big failures like component failures or component heating up and other things so it is very important to implement drbfm properly so we will keep this introduction till here and the next time next video we will be using drbfm worksheet and actually perform drbfm for this design change only from a slow speed automatic go to a high speed